Hello everybody, Chris Wood here, October 9th, 2022, uh, well, 7.44pm, today went quick, welcome to my channel, thank you for tuning in, today has been a long, rough day, I have spent the day being numbed down, I have spent the day having all kinds of kidney pain and problems. I have spent the day having a lot of lung problems, having trouble breathing. It feels like there is actually something inside my lung right now, actually, as I am doing this. I have been getting numbed down constantly all day long from being broadcasted through from remote neuromonitoring. And as everybody can see, my identity theft is done. So it took three years since August of 2019 to September of 2022, but this is finally done. I spoke of it. I've proven my crimes. I have been kidnapped, false arrested, sodomized, medically blacklisted, lied about time buying, cover-ups, arrest refusals, <clears throat> even have being surrounded with hands-on guns to prevent any arrest on police and doctors, being kidnapped 24 hours after asking for help, being falsely arrested to deflect crimes from police and doctors in their inmate boss. I am the victim of identity theft, I am the victim of injuring, torturing, brain injuring, skull splitting, identity theft. I have prisoner tracking on me from William Bill Woldridge, OPP boss, co-offender, sex offender, harbored inmate, Falls Angels, Ontario chapter leader. He and Blair Hardy, boyfriend to Spencer Mills, co-drug trafficker, pedophile, sex slavery trafficker, children to pedophiles, adults to sex offenders, using remote neuro monitoring on victims, and committing murders. And what remote neuro monitoring is, is police and military tech. It is a microchip implant. I've talked about this. And it has been in use since the 60s, and what it is used for is basically to destroy a person's central nervous system on them and their brain. A destroyed central nervous system in a person can cause a lot of problems within a body. And it's a Pontius Pilate crime. Back in 2019, I was at my previous address. I was sitting outside and the XOPP chief went by. He waved at me when I waved back. A black truck pulled up beside him on the corner of Center and Bridge Street. This was approximately 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 p.m. in August. And when I waved back the black truck, they pointed something at me. It was at the lights on Center and Bridge. And it went in, they shot it, and it went into my right ear. And that's when I started having the medical problems. And that's when I went to the hospital. And prior to that, I had not been to a hospital or a doctor in almost 7 to 10 years. For the simple reason is I had not had to. But there's been lies against me stating that I have a long psychological history and record. I have no long history, a psychological record in history with anybody in any way, shape, or form. All 100% lie against me, lies against me, stating I have a long criminal history and record, and not true. I was charged for the first time to deflect crimes from OPP and the doctors here and their boss against me. This is a revenge retaliation crime against me for speaking of their crimes since 2019. So, as a result, I am the victim of identity theft, and I am also the end of my bloodline. Co-offenders doing this and guilty of murder premeditated with intent to commit. <coughs> <coughs> 
Ontario Provincial Police, Spencer Mills, 14716, Ex Chief, Staff Sergeants, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, a mental health worker, was Napanee Daily Tea Company in now Kingston. Her name is Stacy. She has short blonde hair, or did, and kind of on the obese side. She works for addictions and mental health in, Nap in Kingston now. She went there to further distance herself from the crimes that she is guilty of, and also to get more victims as Kingston is a bigger city and they have a huge homeless population. So this is what they're doing. They're going around getting the homeless. They are trafficking them and they are exploiting them for monetary gain. And this is one of the things I was speaking of. I am 50 years old and I'm being broadcasted through from remote neuro monitoring from a piece of shit named Tyler Lake. This is one of my identity thieves is a fucking 30 year old junkie who sucks off Spencer Mills 14716 and he also sucks off Robert Kane for crystal meth and other drugs and they get paid $300 a day. He is guilty of murder. He's guilty of attempted murder. Tyler Lake, a Javen Alstein, Ray Ray, a guy that lives on East Street with a, a woman named Sam. She's a female sex offender and he is a child groomer, pedophile, so, and a drug dealer, and, and a drug trafficker. <sighs> that is where the, all of them are hiding out between. That's where Tyler and Jay and the rest of them are hiding out between there and a place on Center and Thomas. Side door entrance on a woman's place. She either has blonde hair or red hair. Seriously obese, at least five to six hundred pounds. <laughs> she has to be. And she's also the whore madam of these people. It's a crack shack. Blair Hardy, who's allegedly in jail, but he is there on false charges if he is because in, or hiding out to collect money for drugs and to sell them because he is co-offender with OPP. He cannot be arrested. He is unfucking touchable in Napanee, and I can prove it. Doctors that have been aiding and co-committing right from the beginning and are guilty of attempted murder with criminal negligent intent, aiding Hells Angels and Banditos that they are involved in. Dr. Tatiana V, Stacy's girlfriend, a.k.a. Margie V, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Burton, Dr. Waldron, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Angambola, Dr. Sue, Dr. Fardell, a triage nurse Terry, a triage nurse Tanya, and a triage nurse David, and a 500-pound pellet and security guard with approximately 24, 25 years old. They are all human sex trade slavery traffickers, and they're guilty of having my mother also stalked and murdered through William Aldridge and Blair Hardy back in 2020 who was using remote neuromonitoring monitoring on her and from the EMS and radiation. It caused cancer, causing her death. I spoke that this was going to happen, that they were doing this and what the outcome was going to be, but it fell on deaf ears, of course, and I proven right. I was proven right. She was murdered, given cancer with intent to commit for this to me. I am the end of my bloodline, so OPP, you are guilty of murdering my mother. You are guilty of murdering me because, yes, I'm pretty much gone. Congratulations, you motherfuckers. You stole my life. You're stealing my identity and everything else. You medically blacklisted me to prevent help in every way, shape, or form. You're guilty of human rights violations. You're guilty of legal violations. You're guilty of every violation possible. You have committed many murders and crimes and had them covered up at Lenox and Addington County General Hospital. You have a justice of the peace to make accusations on your victims to obstruct, so you got all angles covered here in Napanee for your crimes that they are all involved in. 
<coughs> drug trafficking, human trafficking, children, adults, financial thefts and frauds, disability, pension thefts and frauds, false arrests, kidnapping, sex assaults, and homicides. The OPP, you think you know that Lennox and Addington Hospital doctors, you think you know that all deserve to be locked up and charged and arrested and felony criminally charged and put in jail for the rest of their natural life along with William Aldridge and all of these people are untouchable. So this is pretty much done with me. I have nothing left. I am completely and totally fucking numb in every way, shape, and form. The only spot I have feeling in my head right now is in the center of my head where I have that spot on the back of my head and that's the only place I feel anything. And right now I am getting air pumped through me. So, and this is being done from the remote neuro monitoring and I have proven how it operates as well. All it needs is cell phone, computer, Wi-Fi. They could just, once it's inserted, they could just push buttons. And boom, zap, I get shocked, I get zapped, and everything else. This is their Pontius Pilate way of torturing their victims, and all I did was speak of police crimes. Like I said, the human homeless trafficking out of the Morning Star mission and the homeless exploitation for monetary gain. Chris Wood, love all, hate none, be safe, watch yourselves, watch your children, and watch your parents. Watch your finances. Hit that like, share, subscribe, especially share. It's very serious and important. Helps get this out. These people are seriously dangerous and they need arresting by outside police. Love all, hate.